my vintage dolls it's Emmeline so I am so excited for today I usually take you guys vintage shopping to different antique stores but I have been seeing a lot of people going thrift shopping to like Goodwill or Salvation Army so I thought it'd be really fun to try this out today I haven't really gone thrift shopping a whole lot when I was younger I used to to get like mom jeans and like cut them and to make them into shorts like probably like in high school but I really haven't gone much since I have gone just for like Halloween costumes but not for actual clothes so I'm really excited I'm hoping to find some good pieces um, right now I'm just getting ready I'm actually watching the cutest movie ever I think it's from 1946 it's called the Dolly sisters and if you guys have never seen it you guys definitely should. I always forget about this movie, but it is so cute. I know you guys will love it so much. But anyway, um, I am going to go leave now and I will catch up with you guys once we get to the thrift shop. All right, we are really striking out. Everything is so expensive. Okay, so we actually found records. So this could be good. <laughs> That's even worse. This thrift store is playing really depressing music and it's like making me sad. <laughs> okay, so now that we are back from thrift shopping, I'm going to show you guys what I got. So first we went to Goodwill and Goodwill's prices were insane. Their jeans were $20, they had shirts for like $11, $12, and I was just not about to pay that for used clothes. I mean, like for something really good I would, but like their stuff was like very like, I kept saying like 2000s, because Connor kept picking all these like 2000s type of style things, and like they're just like super low rise jeans, weird, I don't know. I wasn't a fan of it, so we left there. We went across the street and there was this other thrift store. I think it was called People's Choice. I don't know if that's like a um, like a big thrift store or anything. I personally never heard of it before, but um, I don't know. The first thing that I found are these shorts. Connor actually found these for me. I think these were so cute and I was surprised that he found something that I really liked. Um, so I feel like these are probably gonna be really comfy. I'm like nervous though, these are gonna like fit high-waisted I hate anything low-rise on me um so I'm really hoping these fit high-waisted so let's go try these on okay so these are the shorts these are so adorable I did not expect these to fit the way that they do it kind of looks like a skirt like they they puff out like on the sides a little I think it is so cute and I like the um the length on them or the height the how far they come up I don't know what I'm trying to say um, but I like how far they come up because I like when things kind of like don't show your belly button um, I guess I could probably like wear them a little bit lower but I love these these are so so cute they definitely were worth $3.95 I mean I feel like I'd pay like a full price for these these are super super cute I am very impressed with this one thrift store they have really cute things the next thing I found is this shirt. This is from Abercrombie Kids, but it's a size large, so I feel like it's gotta fit me, right? Hopefully. <laughs> Here's the first shirt. I think that if I tie this, it'll look a lot better. I feel like that's definitely like a lot cuter to have it tied because it just gives it like a little bit more shape. Um, and then it has like this little thing. I guess I could tie it, untie it. And I just had to wear like a sticky bra with this because it's very like open. But for this being a kid size, it fits me like perfect. As I was leaving, I stumbled upon this dress. It's Tiggy! Everybody always asks about Tigger. Look, my babies! Picture me wearing this in like a field like twirling around with like sunflowers in my hand and like maybe like a basket. I know that's like very specific, but I just feel like it would be such a cute little, 
photo shoot. So if I do that, I will show you guys, but I'm gonna go try that on. <gasps> you guys, this dress is so cute. I love this so much. So I just think this dress is perfect. And then I like that it's like very um, low in the back. I feel like that just kind of adds a little something extra to it. Don't make fun of me. I know the pattern is super weird, but I kind of have a thing for like grandma weird sweaters. So this is the sweater that I got. Very like pastel grandma, like 80s-ish, but it's really, really heavy. But let's see what it looks like on. Okay, so this is the sweater. I think this is actually so adorable, especially with like a pair of jeans. I feel like it's cute for like when it's kind of like cold out in the summer. You're like that like weird in between weather. I'll show you guys in the mirror because it's kind of like weird lighting. But this is what it looks like. I think it's actually pretty cute. I think like if I, if I can tuck this in, if I can like tuck it in a little, hold on, this is, it's always hard tucking sweaters into, sh or yeah, sweaters into shorts. Okay, I think this is cute. Making lunch, and every time I make lunch that involves lettuce, Wilbur goes crazy. This piece of lettuce looks like super wilted. <laughs> Sorry, Willie. <gasps> oh my gosh, you want the lettuce? You literally. <laughs> He just takes it and runs. He runs to his playmat and he just eats it. Willie, is that so good? So it is time to clean out my closet. I'm not gonna lie. I really don't wanna do this because it is such a gorgeous sunny day out. It's finally in the 60s. I think it's like 64 degrees right now and it is finally so beautiful but to be honest I have nothing to do like all my friends are busy Connor's at work so I'm kind of just stuck home anyway I'm gonna show you guys the closet show you all what we're working with it's a bit of a mess it's kind of like one of those things where like you finally clean it and then as soon as like you clean it, it stays clean for a little and then it gets messy this closet is just like impossible oh there's Tigger just do a little overview so this whole section here is like the vintage section and then I have like cleaning stuff and my prom dress it's boxes i've gone through like so many times um i think this is christmas childhood pretty sure this is more childhood this is all like gift wrapping stuff this is a vintage um hair dryer by the way i have a uh band-aid on because i like severely sliced my finger when i was cutting a mango it was like gushing blood for so long um, and I have a bunch of empty boxes. I have like randomness and like flowers Connor gave me. Um, I have a little vintage picnic set and just more randomness. Oh, my glasses for some reason are like just the one place where I'm allowed to be messy, but it's really not that bad. I think it's just that like I'm in denial, but <laughs> it's really not that bad. I think like once I just kind of like tidy little things up, it's gonna be fine. Also, a little side note, I just put on this candle and it is the scent Gardenia from Yankee Candle and it smells so good. And I put it in a wine glass because I didn't have um, anywhere else to put it. Like I didn't have like a little candle holder for like this tiny little thing you know like those types of candles that just come without holders okay i gotta get some music going so i'm gonna put ariana grande's new song on because i'm obsessed with this so much i cannot stop listening to it okay before i start oh my gosh this lotion you guys i wore this for my 11th grade prom, so that was like seven years ago now. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Do you guys have one of those scents that like you wore for a special event and then you go and you smell it and it just like brings back like so many memories? That is a scent for me. I don't even know if this if they still like make this. Oh my gosh, I should try my prom dress. It's right here. So <laughs> I'm gonna see that this still fits me. I remember I had to get it like altered because I was like super tiny a fun little story time is um, when Connor and I started dating we went to different schools 
So the prom that like this reminds me of is his um, prom. And so I was like super nervous for this prom because this was like my first time meeting all of his friends and everything like that. So I was like, I need to make sure I look really good. I need to make a really good impression. So his school did this like really weird thing. I mean, maybe it's not weird, but like I just never heard of it. But basically like all of like the prom dates or like everyone who's in prom, like you go like up on like a stage like you, you're like you basically you're behind the stage then they call your name and then like you go out and they'll be like Emmeline and Connor and then like everybody like claps for you and then like you walk down the steps and like go out of the building I don't know why they did that but they did and so I had no idea that was a thing and so people like somehow Connor and I ended up being like the first people in line so we so they're like, okay, you guys go first. So they're like, what's your name? So I was like, Emmeline. They're like, okay, Emmeline and Connor. So we get to the stage and I'm like, <laughs> and I just feel really awkward. And oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. So <laughs> I'm not the type of person though that gets embarrassed. Like I just laugh at myself. So I remember when it happened, I was like crying, laughing at myself. And like I compulsive laughed, so I couldn't stop laughing. And I felt like his friends were like, what the heck is wrong with her? But so what happened was we were walking um, on the stage and then he's like, okay, and we have to go down the steps now. And I was like, what steps? Meanwhile, like we're on the stage. There's like tons of people in the crowd. He's like right there. And I literally look like this and the steps are like this steep. And I was like, Connor, there's no way I can get down these steps. So meanwhile, this was all happening in a matter of like seconds. So I'm like, Connor, I can't go down the steps. I'm like, I'm going to fall. The shoes I had, I don't even have them anymore, but they were like so high. And they were really loose. They didn't have like straps, so they like slipped off easily. I'm like, Connor, I can't do that. He's like, Em, you just gotta do it. So I remember I started going on the steps. I fell. I tripped over the back of this dress and I just went whoop. Like I literally said that too as I fell. It went whoop. And I just like fell down the steps. And I'm 100% certain that my dress fell down. I remember just going like this because I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I even had a bra on, like, it was so bad. So I got up and you, it was like one of those moments where you literally hear everyone go, <gasps> and that's what everybody did and I was just like, oh. But I was laughing and I remember like looking at my parents and they were like, oh my gosh. And like, I was just looking at them laughing and Connor, and Connor was like, oh. like everyone thought I was gonna be like crying, but I was like laughing, I could not stop laughing. So we get out of the place and I was just like hysterically laughing. I remember like his friends didn't see it happen because they were like behind the stage, but then they ended up like coming out and they're like, did you like fall or something? And <laughs> it was awkward, but I'm gonna try this on and um, see if it fits me. And my camera's about to die. This is perfect, Oh, All right, the prom dress does not fit me. I like, holy cow, I cannot believe how tiny I was because I feel like I'm still very tiny. But for it to not fit me and to not fit me by like a good amount is like insane. Like look at this. How did I even, oh my gosh, like it's, it's the craziest thing to think that I could have like, I was that tiny. What the heck? All right, so this is the dress. It is so, I love this dress so much. This is like my favorite prom dress ever. Um, I remember I had to get this slit sewn down a little because I think it like went like really really high up and it was like a little bit much for junior prom but this dress is so gorgeous now I want to like go to prom that's the best part of high school the only thing of high school I liked was prom <laughs> okay so my camera actually ended up dying the other day and then um like right after it died my parents came over and they hung out and they're like come over Elaine like have dinner with us so I was like okay so I am actually in the same sweater <laughs> as the other day because I just love this sweater so much um but I'm actually going to now clean my closet because it has not gotten cleaned yet because I got too distracted so let's start I like don't even know where to start with this because it's just like very it's very overwhelming I think I will start, let's start with the vintage stuff because I feel like that's like the most exciting. Let's just do like a little overview of this complete mess. The reason why this stuff has gotten so messy is because whenever I film like my 1950s videos, I always just end up like throwing everything extra like here. So this needs a lot of help. So 
So, the closet is starting to look a lot better. Like, everything is so much more organized. And I just remembered that I have this pink vintage scale. And I'm, like, finding so many, um, like, little vintage -y things. Like, I forgot I had that little, like, razor. There's, like, so many things I forgot I had. And I'm, like, just, I can't believe it. And I know I have, like, two hair dryers, two vintage hair dryers somewhere in here. I just don't know where they are. I know that I have this one, but there's, like, a black one. And it's pink. Like, the whole thing is pink. It's so cute. But I have no idea where it is. If you guys want um, like a tour or like a huge like vintage collection of all of my vintage stuff, let me know because I could definitely film that for next week's video. Cause as I'm going through everything, I have so many fun things that I think you guys would like to see. Like so many interesting random little things I think you guys would like. If you guys want to see um, my vintage clothing collection, I do have a video of that. So I'll put the link for it down below. I think I have like two different videos. They like different clothes. And then last week I also did a clothing haul of vintage clothes I got from Amazon. So I'll put all those videos down below so you guys can watch them. And like I said, just let me know if you guys want to see like a huge vintage collection tour or whatever. Cause I could definitely do that. All right, closet update. Everything is actually looking so much better. I've only been like cleaning for an hour. Like I said, it wasn't like something that like needed to be drastically clean because I had already went through like all these boxes um, like a couple months ago. So it was just mainly like the, the basic part of my closet just needed to be cleaned out. So it's looking so much better, but now my room is like filled with so many boxes are you guys ready <gasps> da, 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 da. yay it's so clean i mean i feel like my closet's never gonna look perfect because it's literally like all of my stuff that i own is in this closet but i think it looks pretty good especially compared to before it was a hot mess i feel like this is just so cute the lighting in this closet though is terrible, so I feel like it's just not making this look pretty. But one day maybe I'll have a better closet. So here is just an overview. Also, I seriously condensed these teacups. Not this time, but um, probably like a few months ago. I got rid of so many teacups. I, I had like way more than this. I probably had like triple this amount, if not more. This entire cabinet was like overflowing with teacups at one point. I just thought I had too many, so I kind of condensed it down to these little ones. But yeah, everything is so clean. I feel like everything is in order and it is just so happy. That is it for today's video. I know this video was kind of random because I was like going thrift shopping and then cleaning out my closet, but I felt like I just wanted to do some sort of like vlog video and I thought these were both kind of fun things to do. They're both videos that I like to watch. So I thought I'd just put them together for you guys to see. So let me know if you guys like this video and what videos you guys want to see next. But I hope you guys are all having a lovely day and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!